your hub for accurate, timely, actionable information. Seasoned investor or novice, we've got you covered. Welcome to Fundco. For insights into various companies. In today's episode, we delve into the world of Apollo Microsystems Limited. Apollo Microsystems Luti did, a leading name in the electronic and electromechanical solutions industry. This company is a pioneer in design, development, assembly and testing of these solutions. Their offerings are based on state-of-the-art technologies and they cater to a variety of markets. Aerospace, defense and space are their primary customers, but they also provide solutions for railways, automotive and homeland security markets. In the latest news, Apollo Microsystems Lonid has received a substantial loan from the State Bank of India for their project in Hyderabad. This funding, which amounts to a whopping 110 crores, is earmarked for the establishment of the Integrated Plant for Ingenious Defence Systems, or IPIDs, in Hyderabad. This development is a significant step forward for the company, demonstrating their ongoing commitment to innovation and progress in their field. However, it's not all smooth sailing. The company has seen a rather disappointing sales growth of 6.18% over the past five years. Furthermore, the return on equity over the last three years has been relatively low, coming in at 4.91%. These figures suggest that while Apollo Microsystems Luti did is making strides in certain areas, there are others where there is room for improvement. For those interested in a more detailed analysis of the company's performance, there are resources available online. Platforms like TradingView offer a range of technical indicators, including various oscillators and moving averages. Today's movement in the company's share price doesn't seem to be tied to any specific news. Instead, it appears to be influenced by a variety of factors, such as market trends, company news and economic indicators. It's always important to remember that the stock market is subject to fluctuations and it's prudent to do your own research or consult with a financial advisor before making investment decisions. The journey of Apollo Microsystems Luted is an ongoing one. With a diverse portfolio, the company continues to innovate, providing solutions for various sectors. Stay tuned for more updates on their progress. Despite its pioneering efforts, Apollo Microsystems Luted's financial health tells a different story. Let's delve into the fundamentals of this company. While it stands as a key player in the design, development, assembly and testing of electronic and electromechanical solutions, its financial performance over the past half decade leaves much to be desired. The company has seen a rather lacklustre sales growth of just over 6% in the last five years. This sluggish growth rate might raise eyebrows among prospective investors looking for robust, high-performing stocks. The question now is, why such a slow growth in a company that operates in a sector ripe with innovation and advancement? The answer might lie in the company's business model or operational inefficiencies, but that's a topic for another day. But it doesn't end there. Let's take a look at the return on equity, a measure of financial performance calculated by dividing net income by shareholders' equity. Essentially, it's a metric that reveals how much profit a company generates with the money shareholders have invested. For Apollo Microsystems Lutinid, this figure stands at a low 4.91% over the last three years. This low return on equity indicates that the company is not generating a satisfactory profit from its shareholders' investments. It's a red flag for investors as it might point to poor financial management or a lack of profitable investment opportunities. On top of this, the company recently secured a loan of 110 crore rupees from the State Bank of India for its Hyderabad project. While this might seem like a positive move, it also increases the company's liabilities and could potentially strain its financial health if not managed effectively. In conclusion, while Apollo Microsystems LTD is a pioneer in its field, its slow sales growth and low return on equity over the past few years pose serious concerns. These figures reflect the need for careful consideration before investing in this company. After all, Investing is not just about following trends, but about understanding the nuances of a company's financial health. To further understand the company's financial standing, let's delve into its technical analysis. Now, to get a comprehensive picture of Apollo Microsystems Luited's performance, one of the best places to look at is TradingView. This platform provides an array of oscillators, moving averages, 
and other technical indicators that can help you decipher the company's financial patterns and trends. Today, we've seen a slight decrease in the share price of Apollo Microsystems Limited. The last traded price was 127 Indian rupees, marking a change of negative 0.3 or a negative 0.2357% change. Now you might be wondering what's the reason behind this movement? Well, it's important to remember that the stock market is like a living organism, ever-changing and influenced by a multitude of factors. In the case of Apollo Microsystems Littered, there's no specific news driving today's movement. However, it's worth noting that the company's share price can be influenced by variables such as market trends, company news, and economic indicators. For instance, remember the company's recent news about receiving a 110 crore loan from the State Bank of India for its Hyderabad project? Such events can have a ripple effect on the company's share price. Similarly, market trends, like the overall bullish or bearish sentiment in the market, can also sway the price. Additionally, economic indicators such as inflation rates, interest rates and GDP growth can indirectly affect stock prices. These indicators give us a sense of the overall health of the economy and a thriving economy often translates to thriving businesses and vice versa. To wrap up, while no specific news is driving today's movement, it's crucial to keep an eye on market trends and economic indicators. Stay informed and stay ahead of the curve. After all, knowledge is power when it comes to investing. Let's continue to follow the journey of Apollo Microsystems Littered together. The company's shareholding pattern and broker ratings provide additional insights into its financial standing. For those of you interested in the latest shareholding pattern of Apollo Microsystems Littered, we recommend you refer to the platforms like Zeradar or Trendline. These platforms provide updated and comprehensive data, allowing you to understand who holds stakes in the company and in what proportion. This information can be crucial in determining the company's financial stability and potential for growth. Now let's move on to broker ratings. Broker ratings are evaluations of a stock's expected performance. They can be a useful tool for investors as they provide an expert opinion on whether to buy, hold or sell a particular stock. Recently, Acuite, a leading credit rating agency, has upgraded its long-term rating of Apollo Microsystems. The rating has been improved to Acuity BBB from Acuity BBB and the short-term rating has been elevated from Acuity A3 to Acuity A3+. These upgrades reflect positively on the financial health of the company and its ability to meet its obligations. The rating upgrade is based on the company's bank facilities amounting to approximately 195 crore. An upgrade in the credit rating usually signals a positive outlook for the company, influencing investor sentiment and potentially leading to an increase in the share price. However, it is essential to remember that while broker ratings are based on extensive research and analysis, they are still predictions and not certainties. Therefore, they should not be the sole basis of your investment decisions. It's always a good idea to consider multiple sources of information and perform your own analysis before making any investment decisions. In conclusion, the shareholding pattern and broker ratings of Apollo Microsystems Lutited indicate a positive outlook for the company. These ratings and shareholding patterns can guide potential investors in making informed decisions. Lastly, let's consider some key economic indicators for Apollo Microsystems. Limited economic indicators are valuable tools for investors as they provide a snapshot of a company's financial health and can guide investment decisions. First, let's delve into the price to earnings ratio, often abbreviated as PE ratio. This is a simple way to compare the relative value of different companies in the market. For Apollo Microsystems, the PE ratio stands at a staggering 184.91. This number might seem high, but it's important to understand that a high PE ratio could indicate that investors are expecting high earnings growth in the future. However, it could also suggest that the stock is overvalued, so it's always wise to consider this in conjunction with other financial indicators. Next, let's examine the sales turnover. This is the company's total amount of products or services sold over a given period. For Apollo Microsystems, the full year sales turnover is 297.53 crore. This figure helps us understand the scale of Apollo's operations and their ability to generate revenue. In conclusion, 
While these economic indicators provide some insights into the financial health of Apollo Microsystems Looted, they are just two pieces of a much larger puzzle. Remember, the stock market is subject to fluctuations. Always conduct thorough research or consult a financial advisor before making investment decisions. That's all for today on Fund Code. Stay tuned for more financial insights and updates. Goodbye. Before you go, though, we've got some fantastic recommendations for you. If you're into stock market news and updates, you're going to love these picks.